Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and today we are going to show you how to create a system image on Windows 10. So the advantage of having a system image is whenever you have an issue with uh, your Windows 10, you can always uh, restore the, uh, the working condition of Windows 10 uh, via the system image. So system image is basically backing up all the system files and uh, all your uh, files uh, and apps which are in uh, the present state. That is a working state, uh, we are creating an image of your uh, current uh, system and then whenever you have an issue with uh, your Windows 10 you can uh, restore the image back and uh, have uh, Windows 10 working without any issues so uh, system image requires you to have a uh, storage where you can uh, keep the system image so it's bet always better to have the system image created on a USB drive or uh, an external drive so we'll show you how to do that so click uh, the start button and uh, type control panel now just open the control panel app so in the control panel app you can see backup and restore option which is called as the windows 7 option so just click this option this will be under the uh, system and security and on the uh, left side uh, you can uh, see this option called create an image uh, the system image so click this option now you can see where do you want to save the backup so image is a copy of your drives uh, required to win uh, run windows so basically it will include uh, the drive which uh, which uh, which uh, installs the windows 10 so you can also back up other drives as well so it can uh, also include additional drives uh, but then uh, basically it will automatically select the drive which has the uh, default windows 10 so now it's looking for uh, backup drive devices so we would uh, suggest you to uh, uh, use an external uh, uh, usb drive uh, which is having pretty good capacity uh, basically you need to take a backup of your complete drive so we would recommend you external hard disk so right now you can see it is selected on the hard disk so uh, it's not uh, advisable to uh, do on the same uh, physical disk that is being backed up because if the disk fails you lose your backup so it's always uh, uh, suggested to have it on uh, the dvd or uh, uh, other external drive so since we have not connected it uh, we'll just choose uh, on the hard disk itself for the demo purpose you can also use the network location in case you have connected um, um, hard disk or other drives uh, on a network location you can also do that now once you're decided on uh, the drive next click next so now you can see that uh, c drive the system drive is automatically selected you don't have the option to uncheck that the system partition is also selected you can additionally select other drives which are not mandatory uh, these are not system files that are that are your personal files so in case you want to back up your personal files as well you can do that but system files are selected by default so now uh, click next so since these, these are error warnings because we don't have the sufficient space so you can uh, skip those you should have a uh, you can see the space required to backup uh, files is available here so you need to have a drive uh, which has uh, this much storage now click next and this is the final step backup uh, could take up to 169 gigabytes of disk space and uh, we have selected the c drive and the system partition so these are the options now uh, once you click us uh, start backup uh, you will have this uh, uh, the system image uh, starting up and it will it will take some time based on uh, the file size so this is around uh, 170 gigabytes so this will take some time so based on uh, whatever uh, uh, files you selected uh, the time uh, might vary and once you click uh, start backup so you can see windows is saving backup and this will uh, carry on for uh, some time so that is a quick tutorial on uh, uh, creating a system image which can be used to repair or restore windows uh, whenever you have any issues with windows 10 so that's all guys so hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our our youtube channel for more videos on windows 10 stay tuned thanks for watching have a great day